Right, the weather's pants. I'm not gonna be doing any rubbing or spray painting or primering because it's just constantly raining on and off, on and off. So let's look at what something I can do today to make a bit of progress whilst waiting for the uh, either the spray booth to free up or I can have a bit of a dry day where I can do a bit more touching in of paint in the areas around the doors and inside the apertures and whatnot. Floor, I could get the floor down. So it needs, uh, I've just been to B&Q, bought two sheets of nine mil thick, four by eight sheets of ply. Um, gonna put it down so that I've got the join like people do down here, which is gonna be underneath the cupboards. So that'll have one big sheet there and then another piece in under here. So there's two ways I could do this. Put the ply down on the floor here. It almost just about fits inside this gap and then scribe it in, keeping a, uh, like a ruler or a piece of wood, something like that with a pencil on it and keeping the ruler at 90 degrees to the wood, draw around on the piece of wood like that. Following it around and then end up with your line drawn on your piece of wood. Have to keep it at 90. If you turn it, well, you, you've balled it. Jigsaw that out and it'll slot in. The other way I could do this is I do have in here in my house the vinyl floor which is already meant to be cut to shape but it did say in the instructions that uh, well it might not be absolutely perfect to spot on. So what I'm going to do is go and get the vinyl floor, put my vinyl floor in, see how well that fits and if it needs adapting now I'll just cut it, get my vinyl floor right just along there put my vinyl floor on top of my plywood, draw around that. That's my template, innit? So let's go and get my vinyl, have a look at the vinyl floor. Right, vinyl floor. It's had, I've had it for about a year. It's probably one of the first things I bought in preparation for doing the van. It's been rolled up that long, look how wavy it is. It'll flatten out once it's stuck down. So what I'll do is I'm gonna roll it that way Instead, have a roll here, put it in the van, and let's have a look at how that fits inside. Well, it's almost there, but it seems a bit pointless buying a, a pre-cut piece of vinyl floor. Um, because it still needs massively um, getting right. Anyway, it's, I suppose it is better to have more than you need, but... It kind of, I mean, it's nothing like really. I may as well have just bought a sheet of vinyl flooring and not bothered getting a pre-cut one. It doesn't really feel like there's much less work to be done really. It's not like a single side on it that doesn't need cutting down. Because out of anything, this area here needs to be perfect. That side down, down there, which is underneath the cupboards, ain't bothered about at all. So comments below, which way around do you reckon is a better way of doing this? To use the vinyl floor as a template because it's easy to cut and then transfer that onto the plywood or scribe the plywood and get that to fit and then use that as a template for your vinyl flooring. Which way around did you do it? Um, then also, after that point, carpet, then vinyl floor down, so that, or vinyl floor down and then carpet. What's an old meter? How did you do it? Comments below. So this is the uh, Van X sidestep with the extra height. So this has been made purposely uh, taller. So it's taller from the original one. Nice. That oh, looks sweet. That looks really good. So obviously at the minute there is just this big gap here because there's no ply lining. But once that ply line goes down, then I think the uh, Hopefully, 
it will look just like that in the area there where the step sits perfectly on top of the vinyl won't know until it's done i'll let you know i'll get on anyway so so far we've got a uh, this van x step if anybody wants to know um this particular one that i got um i'm sure van X, van x only do one um but uh, if you do want to know which one it is i will share the link um then uh, also it's nine mil ply as a recap and then obviously vinyl floor the thickness of that so we'll see what we end up here in this because we want this to line up like that uh right let's carry on i will uh put that to one side and i'll work my way down that way oh i'm not very good at this if i'm really honest not very good at all I keep uh, I keep taking off too much. Really, really press it in that corner, and then go a little bit higher than you think you need to do. I am bad at this. And I'm just going to jigsaw that out. purposely cut just slightly outside some of the lines where I cut the vinyl floor a little bit wrong because I think I might still be able to slide the vinyl floor slightly this way and recut some of the little edges back in again just to try and tweak it so we've got a second chance. <laughs> Now, I have also got a little bit of a second chance at getting my wood better as well because I could now scribe it in using a really small scribe because all the wood is so close to the gaps. But it's just obviously that this line, this line here would then obviously just shift this way just ever so slightly. Um, and it's just a, a way up between is it worth trying to get the lines better over here? and shift in that way this little bit and uh, end up with a gap a join in the floor which you might see because it's not quite underneath the cupboard because I don't really know what the depth of my cupboards are because I've not even bloody looked at them okay so let's have a look where up to so this is an uncut edge of the board which I've got flush against where the bulkhead would be you can see how if the board went slightly that way, all of that would come in. The wood needs to go that way a little bit because it's only my step is only just about going up to it, not over it. You can see there. And I've got a gap here, which all makes sense for the wood to go that way. But then it goes tight here. The board is square to the van, but I've got that gap. So if I make a scribe now to that gap and go around that area, around there, then the whole board should slide over by that amount and be square and have uh, and bring the whole thing over. Yep, yeah, that's what I'll do. So getting a little bit of off cut. So we'll get a bit of off cut, then put that, put that against the, the side there. So it's a. 90 degrees put a little pencil line on where the gap is and now i'm gonna go 
along here now, drawing a line on my wood with my pencil. Keep that in contact with the side of the van. Keep a pencil on that pencil line. And then, and then draw. On there like that. I think that's gonna be better. That's annoying, but it's all gonna get carpeted over this anyway. Let's see what I can do with this. Now I do need to cut right along here, because at the minute the wood is too long. It's overlapping like the area of the van where it doesn't need to be. All right, so I'm just gonna cut that end off now. Right, moment of truth, as they say. So with the six mil ply and the vinyl, what's that like? Hey, I tell you what, that's looking good, that. It's not, I think that works out just right. That is perfectly sat on top of that. That's looking good. Have a look at it from here. That is neat. It'll even get better. Once that gets clipped down, there are three clips underneath, which I need to find, uh, which will clip it in place. Um, but I'm happy with that. That's turned out really well. You can see it's a bit gappy there. There, 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 because it will, it does actually go down. It'll clip down, it'll be, it'll be like that. I'm happy with that over there. I mean, this all gets carpeted to here. It's all gonna be, I don't really know what I'm worrying about. I mean, there's bloody, it's all getting carpeted, isn't it? So I'm happy with this side now. I've got to do the other one. So what I'll do is put this vinyl floor over there, cut around it with a Stanley, just like I did with the other side, get that something like, then um, overlay this vinyl floor. So I'll mark the side there and there where the ply line in, um, stops along under here then i'll line those marks up with the edge of the other sheet of ply and then draw around it and then cut it out and then i've got two manufacturers cuts that are perfectly straight rather than scribing one in and then trying to cut the other one to match that one otherwise i end up with a wibbly wobbly cut i've got i'll have two manufacturers cuts that sit perfect together went and lined up the wrong side of the masking tape so it's all the width of masking tape too wide at least it's not too short mark it all up do it all again Just in case it does, just expand there for some slide, but it's not gonna try and cover it up. Please be the last time. Oh, 
Good for that. There we have it. So obviously it's just sat in, it's not stuck down or anything. So it's, once it gets stuck down, that'll be lovely and flush like that. That's all right, happy with that. Right, there's one job done. Um, let's put the van away.